Hello everyone. Today I will introduce interlooped program. Interloops need to be enabled by the EI instruction. This instruction. And the DI instruction is used for disable interloops. During the scanning program, when an interrupt single is triggered, the PLC will immediately execute the interloop program and then return to the previous uh, position to continue the scanning program. In project manager and uh, uh, program, here we have interrupt. Right click to build one new interloop configuration. Here are three trigger types user can choose. External interpret. User can choose the channel from X0 to X7. And the trigger, trigger type. Uh, rising edge and uh, foreign edge. For priority, the smaller the number, the higher the priority. We have three, uh, three level. And the last is filter time. You also need to ensure the high level time of interrupt single is bigger than this uh, filter time or the interrupt single will not be uh, detected for timer interrupt uh, this type of interrupt program will be executed every uh, for example if we set one second so this interrupt program will be executed every one second. Last type is high-speed coding interrupt. This type have three working mode. This three working mode. First is high-speed cooperation interrupt. The interrupt program will be executed after the trigger condition is reached. For example, if we set 100 here, during the program executed, when the value of HSC0 uh, reached 100, then this uh, then PLC will begin to execute this uh, interrupt program. <coughs> Second type is high speed compression setting. After reaching the trigger condition, the set content will be set. For example, if we choose this type, when the value of HSC0 become 100, M0 will be set. Last type is high-speed cooperation reset. It means when the value of HSC0 become 100, M0 will be reset. Now I will show the effect with an easy program. First, I'll build one, build one external interrupt X0 resting edge. And the program, the this interrupt program. And uh, build another interrupt. Timer interrupt. Set the time as uh, three second. Uh, in the scanning program, 
when the value of d0 is bigger than 4, output y0. Uh, in the PLC, I connect y0 to x0. So when the y0 is output, x0 will have a rising edge single. And this rising edge single will uh, trigger this interrupt program to reset the d0. For this timer, For this timer interrupt, three second. So uh, D zero D zero will at one every three second. Now let's download the program to PLC. We can see after three seconds, this program didn't be executed because we didn't use EI instruction in the scanning main program. So all the interrupts will not be triggered. So, and first we need to use EI instruction to enable the interrupt. You can see now D, uh, D0 will be uh, at 1 at 1 every 3 seconds. And after the value of D0 is bigger than 4, output Y0 will make, make an angle of rising edge of X0 to reset D0. Okay. And last, there are two points user need to notice. One point is high speed coating interrupt and uh, external interrupt can't use the same X as condition. For example, if user uh, if user use X0 and uh, X2, these two channels in external interrupts, then user can't choose HXC0 and uh, HXC2 in high-speed cutting in interrupt. Second point is when another interrupt is triggered during one uh, during the execution of, of the interrupt program, the PLC will finish with executing the current interrupt program first and then process the rest of the interrupt program in order of priority. Okay, that's all. Thanks for watching.